My Team Points Credit, Brian Mazik, NBA 2K19 My Team Points, MTP, are essential to NBA 2K19's My Team Mode. It's the primary currency involved in the mode for savvy users who understand they can procure many of the top cards without spending real money for virtual currency, VC. It is much harder work to earn the necessary MTP to open the packs than it is to simply buy VC. There are also boxes of packs with bundled discounts that you can only buy with VC. Still, it's cheaper to go the MTP route. It may take you longer, but it is possible to build a solid team by playing all the sub-modes in my team. While we know it's going to take time to farm MTP, who wouldn't want to know the most efficient ways to earn? I've been playing my team consistently for months, and while there's also a reason to chase tokens, galaxy opals and select pink diamonds the pursuit of MTP is what normally drives my grind. On my My Team journey, I've found the following activities to be the most efficient way to earn MTP. Nothing stacks MTP like My Team Unlimited My Team, NBA 2K19 Credit, Brian Mazik, NBA 2K19 This is perhaps the most intimidating mode especially for relative newcomers but it's where you earn the most MTP. Aside from what you gather from the micro successes during the game, points, rebounds, assists, dunks, etc., you also stand to gain major rewards from progressing up the chart toward the 12-win goal. In a recent loss, I earned 1,073 MTP. I've come away with as much as 2,200 for a victory. There is a chance you'll get destroyed by an experienced player who has more pink diamond cards than you've ever seen in your life. If your pride can withstand the beating, you should be able to turn the losses into better cards. Domination is the next best thing while you don't get quite as many great rewards and the action isn't as intense as it is in MTU because you're playing against the CPU domination can deliver nearly the same amount of MTP. From micro successes alone, I've earned as much as 900 MTP in a single game. I usually set a goal of 150 to 220 MTP per quarter, and the best way to hit that mark is through knocking down a ton of three-point shots, scoring in transition with assisted dunks. If you are scoring in the half court, you'll want to use post moves to amplify your MTP take. Once the game is done, you'll still get the normal bonuses you see at the end of a contest in each of the Mighty Modes. Triple Threat Online is for quick hitters TTO games are quicker and can earn you as much as 800 MTP, but the floor is lower than it is in Domination and MTU. Essentially, you'd better win if you want the time spent to pay off. It's also the least pure hoops experience in the mode, but it's still fun to play. Major payoffs in multiplayer challenges Some of the multiplayer challenges have large MTP rewards. There's one currently on the board that pays 2000 MTP. If you're successful, the 2000 MTP and the payout you get from the in-match micro successes will make this well worth your time. However, if you don't win, you're not likely to be happy with your take. This is ideal for the Mighty player with a stacked lineup who is trying to keep their stream of MTP coming to facilitate more pack purchases and auction house bids. No matter how you approach the game, if you're looking for a way to improve your team without spending a fortune, grind for MTP. In my experience, you can earn about 